In this video, we're going to try to estimate, without any fancy maths, what's going to go on here. How far will someone fall before they reach terminal velocity? This is always the good first step. Do a quick estimate. You can get an answer to within a factor of 50% or so very easily in almost all cases. And this will often tell you if you need to even bother going and doing the rest of the calculation. And it will provide a check on the more detailed calculations you might do later. Now in this case, which is a person in a wingsuit base jumping off a tall skyscraper, we know that the terminal velocity was about 60 kilometers per hour, which is about 20 meters per second. So the question is, will they actually reach that terminal velocity or will they still be acting like a projectile and falling acceleratingly downwards when they hit the ground? Or when they deploy their parachute, hopefully. Now, we can estimate this because we know in the first limiting case when they're falling, it's roughly projectile motion, which means they're accelerating downwards at g. g is 10 meters per second per second. So to get to a speed of 20 meters per second per second, you're going to need a time of about 2 seconds. If you were purely projectile motion falling, i.e. you could ignore the drag. Drag is going to slow you down because it means acceleration is going to be less than g once you start speeding up. So that will actually mean that you'll not get as far in the time. But if you were just falling purely projectile motion, it would take you about two seconds to get up to terminal velocity. So a very crude approximation will be you fall for the first two seconds like projectile motion, then suddenly you hit terminal velocity. In reality, of course, it's going to be a bit more complicated. You will fall and your acceleration will gradually decrease to get closer and closer to terminal velocity. But this fall like a projectile and then abruptly change terminal velocity is going to be, within a factor of not very much, pretty good. So, you've got two seconds. How far can you fall in two seconds? Once again, let's assume you're going purely as a projectile. In that case, we can use the distance equals half acceleration which is g t squared which is a half times 10 it's just approximation times 2 squared which is about 20 meters okay so that's 20 meters how tall is a skyscraper well each story is it must be at least two meters otherwise tall people would bump their heads all the time probably more like three meters so that's roughly something like an eighth floor building now this is an estimate, but it's going to be rough accurate. So what it's telling us is that for someone base jumping, if they're jumping off the roof of a two-story house, then they certainly won't be anything like a terminal velocity. They'll still be accelerating. If they jump off your 100-story Empire State Building, then they will definitely be at terminal velocity. And if they're jumping off like a tall building in Civic or something with about 8 or 10 or 12 floors, then it's kind of iffy. They might, they're probably getting fairly close to terminal velocity if they haven't quite reached there.